Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Technical Sergeant John Chagru from the Defense Information School. We're here today to recognize the winners of the 1997 Military Photographer of the Year competition. This annual competition is sponsored by the Department of Defense in conjunction with the National Press Photographers Association. With us today is Mr. Kenneth Bacon, the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Public Affairs. Mr. Clifford Bernath, Director, American Forces Information Service. Major General John G. Meyer, Jr., Chief of Public Affairs, Department of the Army. Rear Admiral Thomas J. Jerkowski, Chief of Information, Department of the Navy. As always, entries for this year's competition were judged by a panel of distinguished civilians who are recognized experts in their fields. The still photography submissions were judged by Mr. Dirk Halstead from Time Magazine, Mr. Bert Fox from National Geographic Magazine, and Bob Hamilton from the Baltimore Sun newspaper. By the way, Mr. Hamilton is no stranger to this event. He was the Military Photographer of the Year for 1982. Judges for the video entries were Mr. Steve Affins, WJLA-TV, Mr. Carlos Hernandez, WUSA-TV, and Mr. Jim Allen, America's Voice Television Network. With us today is Mr. Hernandez. Also joining us this afternoon are representatives of companies who are superb supporters of military photography and videography and have graciously provided gifts for this year's winners. That display is located at the rear of the room. The Nikon Company has provided a 35 millimeter camera with lens and flash, which will be awarded to the Military Photographer of the Year. With us today from Nikon is Mr. Don Warner. Sony Electronics has provided a portable television, which will be awarded to the Videographer of the Year, and a Sony Sports Walkman to each of the winners of the video categories. With us today from Sony Electronics is Mr. Alan Ferlet. The Kodak Company has provided a Kodak photographer's vest and film for each of the first place winners in the still category and second place military photographer of the year. All video category winners and the second place videographer of the year will receive vests as well. With us today from Kodak is Ms. Karen Sweet. Tamron Industries has provided a lens to the first, second, and third place winners in the combat camera categories. With us today from Tamron is Ms. Stacy Herrera. Avid Technology has provided a plaque to the Military Videographer of the Year. With us today from Avid is Ms. Rhea Mattel. The National Press Photographers Association has provided plaques for the second place photographer and videographer of the year. With us today from the NPPA is past president Mr. Ken Cook. In addition to the individual prizes, the overall and first place category winners will be guests of the NPPA, Nikon, and Kodak at tomorrow evening's White House News Photographers Association Awards Banquet at the National Building Museum here in Washington, D.C. And now I am privileged to introduce Mr. Clifford Bernath, Director, American Forces Information Service. Well, thank you very much, and thank you all for coming this afternoon to help us honor this uh, illustrious group here. This afternoon, we have gathered to honor a group of winners, a group of uh, people who have excelled in their fields, a group of people who uh, have been judged through very harsh and very arduous competition, uh, both for their technical skills uh, and for their ability to communicate a message through their respective media, the photography and the videographers. As we move, I think, in our society further from the importance of the written word to the uh, more increased emphasis on the, uh, the photo, the visual uh, communications, you're the people who we're going to be looking at uh, and putting increased burden on, I think, to help us communicate the Department of Defense's goals, missions, uh, and uh, initiatives. Uh, in the in the future, and we're going to be putting that burden on you, and you are, have well earned the uh, the respect of the people in this room here. You're going to be the ones who are going to be telling the story uh, about your brothers and your sisters in uniform, telling it to the American people and telling it to each other, so that we all know what why we're doing things, what we're doing, and why it's important to our nation. I want to also say that although today is your day of honor and today is the day that you've 
You've uh, earned the right to all the awards and all the accolades that you're going to hear. Tomorrow you're going to go back to work. And tomorrow you're going to be back with your peers and your, uh, in your units and you're going to be recording the images that brought you here today. Except one thing will be different and that is that you will be the military photographers of the year when you go back. And that means that you have an increased responsibility when you go back to, first of all, maintain the high standards that you've already set. And second, you now are the experts. You now are the elite. And it's incumbent on you then to be mentoring the next group of photographers and videographers who are coming up. And I know that you're going to do that because you wouldn't be here today if you didn't have that drive and that initiative and that ability. So I congratulate you. And uh, on behalf of everybody here, wish you the best in the coming year. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce the man who's charged with all communications, not just photo and, and videography, uh, for the Department of Defense, both uh, inside the defense and throughout the country. Uh, I should also say that uh, judging by his interest and his questions every day about what's on the net in terms of photos and videography, he's an avid user of your products. Uh, Mr. Ken Bacon has been the Assistant Secretary of Defense since September of 1994. Uh, came to us from the Washington, uh, uh, from the Wall Street Journal, where he uh, served for 25 years as a journalist and a editor. Uh, he covered the Pentagon as a beat in uh, from 1976 to uh, 1980. He's also a former enlisted reserve uh, person in, the, in a civil affairs unit. Uh, I've had the great privilege of working on a daily basis with, uh, with Mr. Bacon, and now I have the great privilege of introducing him to you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Public Affairs, Ken Bacon. Thank you, Cliff, and thank you all for coming. I'd like to talk a little bit about the audience for your work. Um, which is probably uh, much bigger than you think. Uh, let me start by saying that uh, 6,500 photos are downloaded from the Combat Camera webpage every month. And these are downloaded uh, mainly by people in the military who use them for publications uh, or use them for presentations. But increasingly, they're downloaded by people from outside the military as well. Local newspapers sometimes run your photos, as I'm sure you know. They're used by uh, people connected with the military community as contractors or people who just have an interest in the military. This is a huge audience that the internet has brought to military photography, and it's a very interested audience. And I'm frankly extremely glad that we're able to get your work out more broadly to the public immediately. I think it's added a real sense of excitement and a, and a real sense of, of additional worth to the job you do. For years, we thought of military photography as uh, something that served one or primarily one very important purpose, and that was to uh, help uh, build morale and explain what the military was doing to your colleagues, but also to people outside. And the internet has just made that uh, much more easy and much more far-reaching than it's ever been before. Secretary Cohen pays a lot of attention to pictures that are taken um, of the military, pictures taken on his trips, taken on other trips. Um, I occasionally uh, call to his attention pictures that appear on the internet if I see something interesting there. I think Cliff gives me a little too much credit. I don't. I wish I had the time to spend all day looking at the pictures on the internet, but it's. Uh, only, I only go in there when I have uh, uh, a purpose from time to time. But it's. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, 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 product uh, and anybody who's had a chance to look at these pictures can tell what a good job these people have done but you can I also invite you to look daily at the internet and see what you find there this uh, goodness this skill doesn't come about solely because you are uh, uh, very good photographers it comes because you've served as part of a good team and I can tell by the stripes on your arms that um, you're experienced, that you've uh, uh, spent a lot of time in your training. I'd like to uh, call attention here to Ron Grubb, who's the director, of Colonel Grubb, the director of the Defense Information School, where many of you have trained and provides uh, basic training to our photographers. Colonel Grubb, are you here? 
Colonel Grubb has been there for three years and is about to retire. He's done a terrific job, and uh, he's certainly one of the leaders of the team that makes um, military photography what it is today. Many of you have also trained at Syracuse University, um, where over the last 25 years, I believe more than 400 uh, photographers and videographers have trained. That also has been an important part of our team. In addition, the individual services um, work uh, very hard to uh, get photographers to where they're supposed to be, to put them in the right place to do their job. Uh, the Navy has been very imaginative at bringing in digital photography on ships so that uh, life at sea can be recorded quickly and got back here to the Pentagon or to Navy installations or to hometown newspapers, which is extremely important. So that's another big part of the team, the support you get from your services. And I think that Mr. Bernath and uh, all his colleagues at, uh, at APHIS are also a very important part of that team as well. So it's, I think it's always important to, uh, to know that we work better as a team and that uh, we have the support of that team behind us at all times. In looking over the uh, uh, list of the people who are getting awards today, and some of those who have turned in great work and will be recognized but maybe not as the winner of a category, um, it's, it's really extraordinary to uh, uh, to see how the dedication of this group of photographers shows through year after year. I'd like to uh, point out that, uh, that one of the winners, Staff Sergeant Bertram Leonard, uh, will be the first co uh, consecutive three-time winner um, in competition history. Um, so here's somebody who was, uh, who was competing every single year with very good work. Uh, Staff Sergeant... Uh, um, Coppage, who will also uh, uh, receive an award, uh, has spent eight years learning his craft and studying winning photographs, and it shows off in his work and the award he'll get today. But I'd also like to point out that uh, there's uh, something unique here. We have a, a couple, I think it's the first time in history that a, a husband and wife couple have been recognized um, uh, not as winners, but as uh, as uh, uh, honorable mentions and, and prize winners. Um, uh, there'll be future winners, I'm sure, uh, down the road. But uh, um, uh, Sergeant uh, Jean-Marc and uh, Specialist Janice Schabel, who are both here today from the Army, um, uh, have done uh, great work, uh, obviously sharing a passion for photography. And uh, we're glad to have you here as well. In closing, we all are haunted by images we've seen sometimes in our lives. We're all haunted by photographs that we recall from our childhood or from newspaper stories um, uh, when a, a major event occurs, a, a funeral, um, or something unique such as the uh, disinterment of the remains from the Tomb of the Unknowns recently. Uh, we're all haunted by uh, uh, famous, famous images going back to World War II or even the Civil War. If you probe our, our American memories, many of the images that resonate uh, uh, most uh, directly uh, are images that come from, from war. They're images of our heroes um, either coming home from war or uh, heroes who are uh, in the midst of battle or at the very end of battle. This is not um, easy to capture. It's not risk-free work that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I want to tell you that uh, I very much appreciate what you do. I think the country appreciates what you do. And I'm very glad to be able to be here with all the rest of us today to uh, honor the good work that you've done. Thank you. It's OK. Thank you, sir. The first awards of the afternoon go to the Still Picture Division category winners. In the Picture Story category, Staff Sergeant Paul Holcomb, United States Air Force, for training for combat. Sergeant Holcomb is assigned to the 319th Communications Squadron, 319th Air Refueling Wing, Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota.
In the feature category, photographer's mate second class Benjamin Olvey, United States Navy for How Many Does It Take? He's assigned to Fleet Imaging Command Atlantic, Norfolk, Virginia. In the sports category, Technical Sergeant Scott Wagers, United States Air Force for Playing Against the Phantom. Sergeant Wagers is a recent graduate of Syracuse University's photojournalism program. In the illustrative category, Master Sergeant Thomas Menegan, Air National Guard for Iron Man. Sergeant Menegan is assigned to the 162nd Fighter Wing, Tucson, Arizona. In the portrait personality category, Staff Sergeant Justin Pyle, United States Air Force for Up From the Depths. He's assigned to the United States Air Force Air Demonstration Squadron Thunderbirds, Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. Accepting for Sergeant Pyle is Senior Master Sergeant Mike Haggerty. In the pictorial category, Senior Airman David Neve, Air National Guard for Bloody Lane. He's assigned to the 162nd Fighter Wing, Tucson, Arizona. In the news category, Staff Sergeant Gary Coppage, United States Air Force for Uzbek Arms. Sergeant Coppage is assigned to the Army and Air Force Hometown News Service at Kelly Air Force Base, Texas. In the combat camera category, photographer's mate first class Clayton Farrington, United States Navy for Daddy's Home. He's assigned to Pacific Stars and Stripes, Tokyo, Japan. Accepting the award for PH-1 Farrington is Lieutenant William Garlinghouse. And now the video division category winners. In the uncontrolled action category, Technical Sergeant Manuel Smith, United States Air Force, for his videotape, Nature's Gem. Sergeant Smith is assigned to the 367th Training Support Squadron, Hill Air Force Base, Utah. In the controlled action category, Staff Sergeant Bertram Lennard, United States Air Force, for his videotape, A Chance to Say Goodbye. He's assigned to the 1st Combat Camera Squadron, Charleston Air Force Base, South Carolina. In the editing category, journalist first class William Houlihan, United States Navy, for his videotape, A Day for the Veterans. J01 Houlihan is assigned to the Defense Information School, Directorate of Training, Broadcasting, and Electronic Production, Fort Meade, Maryland. In the combat camera category, photographer's mate, second class, Brian Kelly, United States Navy, for his videotape, Combat Extraction. He's assigned to Fleet Imaging Command, Pacific, San Diego, California. Accepting for PH2, Kelly is PH3 Lynch, who will be up later for another award. <laughs> In the post-production category, Staff Sergeant Jamie Chapman, United States Air Force, for his videotape, Welcome Home. He's assigned to the 18th Communications Squadron, Kadena Air Base, Japan. And now the top awards. The Director's Award in the still category is presented to Photographer's Mate Third Class Michael Myers, United States Navy, who is assigned to the Fleet Imaging Center, Pacific, Guam. The Director's Award in the video category is presented to Staff Sergeant Manuel Trejo, United States Air Force, 1st Combat Camera Squadron, Charleston Air Force Base, South Carolina. Accepting the award for Sergeant Trejo is the Deputy Commander, Major Cliff Douglas. The 1997 Military Photographer of the Year is Staff Sergeant Gary Coppage, 
Army and Air Force Hometown News Service, Kelly Air Force Base, Texas. The 1997 Military Videographer of the Year is Staff Sergeant Bertram Lennard, United States Air Force, assigned to the 1st Combat Camera Squadron, Charleston Air Force Base, South Carolina. Um, I guess I'm supposed to make this short. Uh, the last year for me has um, been a very trying one. And a lot of people have, uh, have helped me along the way. And uh, as soon as I get my composure here, it's supposed to take less than a minute, but okay, I laughed at it. Um, the American Red Cross last year helped me to uh, get home to Trinidad on time to see uh, my mom, who um, who uh, passed away last year, and um, I just want to say that um, that this year. Everything that I live for is for her. Thank you. At this time, we would like to present to the representatives of the NPPA, Nikon, Sony, Kodak, Tamron, and Avid, a token of our appreciation for their continued outstanding support to the Department of Defense's annual Military Photographer of the Year competition. I would like to invite to the stage Mr. Don Warner from Nikon. Mr. Alan Ferlet from Sony. Ms. Karen Sweet from Kodak. Ms. Stacy Herrera from Tamron. Ms. Rhea Mattel from Avid. And Mr. Ken Cook from the NPPA. The National Press Photographers Association Special Award in Video category is presented to both runners-up photographer and videographer of the year. The NPPA Special Award in the video category goes to photographer's mate third class Joseph Lynch, United States Navy, Fleet Imaging Command Pacific, San Diego, California. In the still category, Photographer's mate, first class, Clayton Farrington, United States Navy, Pacific Stars and Stripes, Tokyo, Japan. Accepting the award for PH1 Farrington is Lieutenant William Garlinghouse. We would like to extend a very special thank you to Mr. Ken Cook, who is leaving his post after six years as the National Press Photographers Association liaison to the military services. The success of this contest is largely due to his vast experience, dedication, 
and tireless efforts to showcase military photography to the widest possible civilian audience through frequent articles and photographs in the association's national publication. In closing, I would again like to thank the National Press Photographers Association for its valuable assistance in sponsoring this competition. And to Mr. Ken Hackman, who isn't here today, but whose presence as organizer and advisor in the competition has been felt for the past 15 years. I'd once again like to recognize Nikon, Tamron, Avid, Sony, and Kodak for their continued support and for donating the outstanding prizes on display and under guard in the back of the room. <laughs> on behalf of the American Forces Information Service and the Defense Information School, I want to express appreciation to our guest speaker, Mr. Kenneth Bacon, and a special thanks to each of you for joining us this afternoon and assisting us in recognizing the winners of this competition. The winning still photographs are on display against the curtains to my right, and immediately following the ceremony, the winning video clips will be available for viewing on the right in the back. Feel free to personally congratulate our winners. This concludes our ceremony until next year.